guys and welcome to our very last week of kindergarten readiness. I cannot believe that it is over. I wish we had more time together. This week we're going to be talking about the rest of the numbers, numbers 11 through 20, days of the week, months in a year, and we are also going to be sharing our very last virtual reading buddies. So let's get started. Let's do a quick recap of the numbers we talked about last week. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And this week, this week, we're going to be talking about numbers 11 through 20. So we're gonna finish up our numbers. So here we have 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost there, 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I want you guys to count with me at home for our last number this week, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. For a fun activity this week with our numbers, you guys can either do the same Play-Doh activity that we did last week, but I wanna show you some really cool ones this week. So you guys are going to need your Unifix cubes. And then for our second activity, I want us to grab our sun, roll and color sheet along with your dice. So let's go ahead and pull out our Unifix cubes. And I want you guys to pull out two colors. If you pull out two of these sticks, we're going to have the exact amount that we need to do this activity. So when you break them apart, you can either, you can form a pattern, you can take them apart like they are as a stick. And what I want us to practice, again, just like the Play-Doh one, is that we're gonna count. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch each cube and we're gonna count while we touch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's 
talk about something different. Let's talk about the days of the week. Do you guys know how many days we have in one week? We have seven, seven days in a week. So let's talk about those days. Our week starts off with Sunday. Sunday's the beginnings of our week. After Sunday comes Monday. After Monday comes Tuesday. After Tuesday comes Wednesday. After Wednesday, Thursday. And then after Thursday is everybody's favorite day, which is Friday. <laughs> and after Friday is Saturday. During a school year, you guys only go to school for five out of the seven days of the week. You guys go to school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You guys should have gotten a really, really big calendar in your bags. Open that up and explore it. Look through it and try to point out which ones are the days of the week. And go ahead and practice reading those with your mom and dad. For some extra practice and some practice with writing, I have this really fun packet that has all the days of the week on there. So here you can see it's got all the days of the week. What you're going to do is we're going to follow the directions. So first things first, it says we need to color. So you guys are going to go ahead and color Sunday, the word Sunday, which Sunday we said was the first day of the week. Next, it says trace. So you're going to trace the word Sunday. Next, it says box it. So what you guys are gonna try to do and try your best to write the word Sunday inside of these boxes and they're made to fit each letter. Next, you're gonna to try to write Sunday on your own. Again, try, try, try your hardest. Last, it says find and circle. So I want you guys to look through all of these words. All of these are the days of the week, but I only want you to find the one that we're looking for. So on this page, we need to find all of the ones that say Sunday. So I want you guys to go ahead and try to do it for all the days of the week. Months in a year. Do you guys know how many months are in one year? There are 12, we have 12 months in one year. So let's kind of talk a little bit about those. <laughs> so the very first month in a year is January. Can you guys think of any special holidays or if you have any birthdays that you celebrate in January? I know we celebrate New Year's, New Year, because it's the first month in a year. So we celebrate the new year in January. Next up, we have February. What's a nice holiday that we celebrate in February? We celebrate Valentine's Day, full of love. We celebrate Valentine's Day in the month of February. Next up, we have March. And a special holiday that we celebrate sometimes in March is St. Patrick's Day, where everyone wears green. So March. March is also my birthday, so uh, March is my favorite month. <laughs> Next up, we have April. April. So think of what do we celebrate in April? A lot of people celebrate Easter. Maybe you celebrate Easter. Easter happens in the month of April. Next up, we have May, the month of May. This is typically where a lot of people have a summertime. School's out, maybe school's out in May. And another big special holiday that we celebrate in May is Mother's Day. Next up is June, the month of June. I think this is more when people really start to enjoy their summer. And another special holiday that we celebrate in June is Father's Day. 
July, ooh, July. This is a good summer month here. And what is a big holiday that we celebrate here in the United States? In the month of July, we celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day. August, August is a really big and special month because August is when everyone goes back to school. I know I'm excited, I'm excited for school. <laughs> Next up is September, September. So it's getting a little bit colder outside. It's gonna be the start of fall. Next is October. October, what is a big holiday that people celebrate in October? A little spooky. We celebrate Halloween. Halloween happens in the month of October. November, ooh, we're almost done. November, what's another big, big, big holiday that a lot of people celebrate where you get together with your family and you see everybody and you eat delicious, delicious, delicious food. We celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving happens in the month of November. And our very, very last month of the year is December. December, this month, it's the coldest, 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 it's winter time. And there are so many holidays that we celebrate in December. People celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, every holiday, a lot of holidays happen in the month of December. And this is our last month of the year. The activities for months in a year are gonna be the same as the activities for days in a week. So pull out your calendar and see if you can name all the months of the year. Just like the days of the week, I have these fun sheets for you guys with the months in a year. So again, we have all the months that we talk about and you're gonna do the same thing as your days of the week book. For this week's final Reading Buddy video, we are going to be reading Catch Me If We Can. So you guys should have gotten a nice white envelope with all the materials inside as well as the book. You guys did it. You guys made it to the very end of our kindergarten readiness program. I hope you guys had so much fun at completing all the activities and using up all of your awesome, awesome material that you guys have in your bags. Make sure to also check out your kindergarten readiness workbook. There's extra, extra practice if you guys still want to practice with your letters, your numbers, practice writing out the colors. There's also shapes and color practice in here too. And I just want to wish you guys the very best luck when you guys go into kindergarten this fall. I know things are going to be a little bit different than they normally would, but I know you guys are going to have so much fun and you guys are going to learn so much more. I hope to see you guys soon.